was gonna be like a holiday pizza party with a bunch of coworkers, not an orgy. Your vulgar ass boss acted inappropriately. You need to start standing up for yourself in these situations. Yeah, no, that's right, you're right. No, stand up for myself. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna quit that. punch Dr. Mathis in the face. Ooh, yep, punch him in the face. Champagne, okay. <laughs> All the shit happening today, two homicides at gas station. Stop it. We didn't even know if he was on the bus. Tommy, you're so paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> Very soupois. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's that's a little old French term meaning this bitch tastes good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, hey, guys. Right, right. Bring it down a tad, like my wife and I are trying to watch the talent show. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sorry. sorry about that. Appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a couple of drinks. You relax. Okay. Well, I'm kind of a small yay, but for cheap wine. Yeah. yeah, can I get um, two of the voodoo skeleton thing? Hey, look here, don't be bored by them or whatever, man. They are friends with that crazy lady that almost got killed by Mike Myers. No. Yeah. I, I heard about that. Uh, Laura Stokes or something. Laura Stokes. The one that survived Michael Myers. They come for every Halloween, and you know, tears in the beard. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce our next thespian. Now, I used to bust this guy's balls when we were kids, but he is all grown up now, and he's become the most captivating bird whistler. <laughs> Everybody? Uh, Lonnie, put me up to this. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to whistle for you. <laughs> Any of you know the story of the Haddonfield Boogeyman? Too young to give it, too drunk to remember? Forty years ago, a madman escaped from a mental hospital. It was the night before Halloween, and three teenage girls were walking home from Haddonfield High. They had sightings of a, a ghost-like figure creeping right through our town. A man in a white mask, or was it more than a man? He was watching them. Before the night was over, three people would be murdered. And in the house next door, there was a babysitter and a young boy and a young girl, and they were brutally attacked by this stalker who had a power beyond any mortal man. My name is Tommy Doyle. I was that young boy. So please join me in commemorating the victims and the survivors of Michael Myers. Now we have uh, lovely Miss Lindsay Wallace. Her babysitter, Andy Brackett, was executed that night. Mary Chambers, she survived an assault. We have Lonnie Elam. Lonnie survived a face-to-face -face encounter. It's Halloween night in Haddonfield. When terror is supposed to be fun. When we hide behind masks and we pretend we aren't what we are. Is he real? Who knows? Who's next? Maybe not tonight. Maybe not tomorrow. But the boogeyman is coming for me. And he's coming for you. But he's not gonna get us. Not this time. Because we will never succumb to fear. This is for you, Lori. Wherever you are. <laughs>